<laughs> nope, cello. It was like we picked up the other one and just rubbed it in the hallway to put this on there. Miss <laughs> Jill, she's telling me to get up here. Miss Jill, Kathy's telling you to get up here. Found your place. You found, you found her. Snark, don't you? This one's out of battery. Mm -hmm. Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? What? I still got a minute. Uh oh. If we start early, that's gonna that's gonna throw us all off, ain't it? I know. I got the clock up there too. There we go. Oh. That was, a, that was a quick minute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's all stand this morning and turn in the tan hymnal to number 416. 416. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. Of the valley in him alone I see all I need to cleanse and make me fully whole in sorrow he's my comfort and trouble he's my say he tells me every care on him to roll hallelujah he's the lily of the valley the bright and morning star He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He all my griefs has taken and all my sorrows borne. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken and all my idols torn. From my heart and now he keeps me by his power. Though all the world forsake me and Satan tempt me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will 
will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here, while I live by faith and do his blessed will. A wall of fire about me, I have nothing now to fear. With his manna he my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Sound like we might get the spirit today. Amen. Good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm glad our wandering sheep are coming back. Amen. All right. <laughs> oh, there's several. <laughs> several. Uh, we have, uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, we have Andrew prayer because Sister Audrey's back with us, and she is one Amen. of the ones that wandered to fathers, I think. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. Yes, we want to uh, remember a uh, young man. Uh, oh, Cooper, Randall. I was talking about Sister Audrey, and then I had Audrey. In my uh, Randall Cooper. He's going to have a pacemaker in the morning. He's in Tampa General. Remember him. Amen. Any other prayer requests? Any at all? Amen. Absolutely. That's good to know that he has nothing up there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is, that is good news, absolutely. Amen. And remember uh, Tammy, she's continuing her treatments. All right. uh, remember me Wednesday going to the dentist, getting that tooth removed? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> you get Paul told you to take care of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My sister Thursday. Sister Margaret called. She needs to be remembered. She's still blowing her nose, she said. And um, her son, her brother-in-law, Jerry Watford, is having cataract surgery Tuesday. They're putting him in the hospital to do it. So remember the her and Tony Jackson. Mm-hmm. <coughs> in the round. Remember Teresa too. Oh yes, remember she's Teresa. She's home, not well. always we have unspoken on our heart. Yeah. Let's go to the Lord in silent prayer, and then I'll lead us. Let us all pray. Heavenly Fathers, we've come out once again this morning. We lift up each one that has been mentioned. And Lord, we do thank you for watching over us. We thank you for the answered prayer. Many that, that uh, have been ill are able to come back and, and to worship you, to praise you. And we thank you, Lord, for each one. Heavenly Father, we ask that you consider the ones that we've placed before you in our hearing and those that are upon our hearts that we've placed before you. And Lord, we do ask humbly that you watch over them, your hand be upon them for healing, for strengthening, whatever the reason. Those that are in hospitals that are facing surgeries, Lord, we do ask of course, and lift up the doctors and the nurses. We thank you for their, their time, their study, and their concern. But Heavenly Father, we place up those that are, are waiting, those that have situations going on, whether it's, it's house uh, repairs and problems or physical repairs and problems, or whatever the, the need is. We ask humbly, Lord, that you fulfill that need. And we know, Lord, by our faith in you, that you will and you are watching over us. And you do have our concern at heart. So, Lord, I lift up each one that may their faith be strengthened. In those times when we have to wait, that we simply are waiting not for you to answer, 
We're waiting with you as we go through these situations. And the fulfillment will be such a blessing, a blessing for us and a praise for you. And Heavenly Father, I lift the church up to you, the needs that the church has. We place the needs before you. And we ask, Heavenly Father, that you fulfill those needs so we can continue reaching out to those around us and those throughout the world as need be with your love and your word. But again, Lord, I thank you for these. I thank you for watching over us. And Heavenly Father, I lift this time up to you and as we honor you and praise you. And we thank you, Lord, for all these things in Jesus' precious name and for his name's sake. Amen. Thank you. Have a seat. Well, the main announcement uh, this coming Saturday is our fifth Saturday concert. This coming Saturday, 6.30. We want to encourage everyone to come out. We'll have a light meal following that. And, uh, but the main thing is to come out. And if you'd like to sing or if you'd like to play an instrument or if you'd just like to read a poem or if you'd just like to come and sit and enjoy the time, we humbly ask that you do just that. Also, uh, in the bulletin, you'll notice that on April the 6th, in two weeks, we're going to have uh, a Gideon presentation. We have a, a gentleman from the Gideons. Brother Larry is a Gideon, uh, and he's not going to give the presentation. He's left that to someone else. But uh, present the Gideon ministry. Uh, so uh, that's in two weeks. Five, ten minutes, I told him. That's enough. <laughs> but anyway, have, we'll have that. And I can't think of anything else. You got anything? Uh, um, I put the VA box out there. Oh, yeah. uh, anybody who wants to start putting things in it, uh, we need, uh, just like we did a year and a half or a year, two years ago, just toiletry items, shaving cream, razors, toothbrush, toothpaste, socks, any of that stuff. If you just bring maybe a couple every week or so, we'll, it'll add up. So that's for uh, this coming Christmas time. Okay. Easter thing. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, I would like to start. I'm going to put a, a bin out there um, out in the front also to start collecting some candy. Uh, I know I've heard that we in the past have done Easter egg scavenger hunts for Easter. I guess the Saturday before. Um, and so I want to start collecting candy. And Brother Barry's going to show me where those eggs are. So we can start filling those up so we can hold like a little thing out here for for Easter. Yeah, we only have about a thousand plastic Easter eggs. Yeah. <laughs> so bring in some candy just whenever you're out and you see a bag of candy for a good good price, just pick it up. <laughs> That'd be nice. But no chocolate unless you want to give it to me and Paul. That's fine. <laughs> chocolate melts. <laughs> in the mouth. Yeah. All right. All right, uh, turn with me to number 398. 398. I have heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary I heard about his groaning of his precious blood to Then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior.
of its cleansing power revealing how we made the lame to walk again and cause the blind to see and then i cry dear jesus come and heal my broken spirit and somehow jesus came and brought to me the victory oh victory in jesus my savior forever he sought me about a mansion he has built for me in glory and I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea and about the angels singing can the old redemption story some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in yeah, Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me.